Ephesians 1 and verses 15 and 16. Therefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. And this is something that Paul writes to the church in Ephesus and he says that I do not cease, I do not stop giving thanks for you. Now that phrase, give thanks, uh, in the Greek, it means an outpouring of grace and wonderful emotions and feelings from the heart. So every time Paul thought about the believers in Ephesus, this is what happened. There was outpouring of grace and wonderful emotions and feelings from his heart for them and unto, unto God he was giving thanks. And he also makes mention of them in his prayers. So Paul says, I don't stop, you know, I, I, I don't stop giving thanks, I don't stop praying for you. So, um, so we definitely need to be thankful for the people that God had placed in our lives. So, so who are some of those people that God had placed in your life? You know, it could be family, like um, your spouse, your children, parents, siblings, maybe extended family like cousins or in-laws, uh, maybe friends, colleagues. There could be other people that God had placed in your life, maybe early on in life like teachers, or spiritual mentors or pastors and we need to be thankful for such people just like Paul was thankful always giving thanks for these believers whom God had brought um, across Paul's path so we need to be thankful for people that God had brought into our lives and also secondly making mention of them in in, in our prayers, that we pray for them. Um, they might be going through various things, they might be going through, uh, they might be having various needs, but we pray for them. So these two things Paul does uh, about the efficient believers, that he gives thanks continuously and also he makes mention uh, in, in his prayers. So um, let's take a moment to reflect on, on those uh, whom God has brought into our lives, whom God has placed in our lives. Uh, maybe we can list them down and uh, thank God for them. And also, if time permits, maybe today you can uh, write, send an email or send a text uh, saying how grateful you are that uh, for all that they brought into your life and what they did. Um, maybe it was early on in life or maybe currently they are the value that they bring into your life. So you need to, you know, we can thank God for these relationships. So as we do that, let's pray and let's thank God. Father, we thank you for the people that you placed in our lives, Lord. Just like how you brought Paul to the efficient believers and you placed them in his life, Lord. We, we thank you for everyone, Lord. Uh, right from childhood up till now, Lord, the people whom you've placed in our lives. And we give thanks, oh God. We thank you for the value they bring. We can, thank you for the wonderful memories. We thank you for the relationships, Lord. And even now, Lord, we pray for them. We pray that you'll bless them, strengthen them, Lord, and uh, prosper them and, and take them, Lord. Uh, to where they need to be, Father God. We pray for your protection and provision, Lord, in their lives, Lord. And we commit them into your care, into your mighty hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.